Okay, so um, in this video, looks like I've been doing some research here. Uh, in this video, we're going to play around with the idea of uh, looking at Medline Plus and PubMed and the resources it has for us when we are looking to uh, gather information and make critical thinking decisions. So bear with me. Let's see if I can do this. I think I get it by now, right? All right, ta-da, and then I put Medline Plus, ta-da, into a search program and Google, and uh, this is the lead page with this. This is an excellent site. It's a government site, um, means that um, all of the information is available to you to use. And there are many, 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 many resources here. I love this site. So uh, this is all your different health topics, um, including your uh, different conditions that we might want to learn more about. Here's all the, uh, the medication, and we can learn about that. And then here is even uh, some fun videos and, and tools that you can click on and see what's available. So I want to play around more with how do we um, decide how uh, we're going to use research to support a decision making process. So I'm just going to hit health topics to start here. And they're all um, here. There's a variety of them, different ways that we can find them. We can also put a search up here. Um, let's let's uh, look at D. And then what they do is they list it down and we can pick one out. Um, so let's look at diabetes um, because that's so common. So I, I, I've got a client, we're pretending. I have a client that has diabetes. So I wanna find out more about diabetes. So I click on that and then uh, look at all the information I have available to me. Um, and so I might wanna come back up on here and there's already, uh, without me even leaving this site, there's already some research uh, links out for me. So this gives me a general idea about what diabetes is. And then it leads me down to uh, other sites that I can go to. Um, so it says diabetes right here, uh, the American Academy of Family Physicians, how to manage diabetes, what is diabetes, um, various links outside. I, I don't wanna do that right now, I wanna stay right on. Medline Plus, but I want you to see all of the different links that are already pre-searched for you as you go down through this. Uh, there's even a little uh, movie here that you can take a look at and, and that, that would be a good thing to do. Um, and uh, common terms related to this, referrals out, uh, is there a difference related to gender and age? So you, you get the drift. There's all kinds of information here, but I, I just want a little bit of general idea about what diabetes is. And so uh, I'm gonna read through here. It's a disease in which your blood glucose or blood sugar levels are too high. And then it gives me, um, a little bit of an idea of um, what can uh, happen and how it maybe can affect your eyes, your kidneys, or your nerves. And also this idea of gestational diabetes, um, but specifically when somebody is pregnant. So, um, so I've got a little bit idea about diabetes and 
So I am going to go now to PubMed. And, and for me, my spelling isn't the greatest. So I'm going to just go ahead and copy that. Ta -da. And I'm going to hit PubMed here. And here is my main search box. Um, but I want to show you before I get into that, here's how you learn all about PubMed. Uh, and it, it, they do an excellent job with teaching you how to use the search program. So um, do take time to learn how to do that. But we're going to put diabetes in first. So we're just going to paste that. Then we're going to go over here and we're going to hit search. Um, let's see what happens. Wow. Okay. Um, so we have got um, all kinds of little filters that we can put in here. And so let's see what we've got. We want a full free text. Um, and let's clear that from another search that I had. Uh, so back here for a full free text. And then um, we want to see if we can uh, we use this one right here to get us something by year. So we want something pretty, cl pretty close. Um, so this is a new feature for me. I get to play around with this. Let's see what we got. Wow. Let's look at 2019. So there's, there's 25, almost 26,000 research articles here. And, and that, of course, obviously, that's too many. So um, I got to clarify this search here. And, I, and I'm particularly interested about um, medication or about massage therapy. So let's, let's see what we got. So let's add, let's use the word and, whoops, and massage therapy. So let's search again, see what happens. Um, so now uh, it's, it's a little bit better. Uh, we still have our filters in here and we only want ones that are uh, free full text. If it, so we've got, it looks like there's uh, 38 results. So that's a little better. Um, and if I hit abstract, it'll increase the number. So especially if I take full free text off. All right, there we go. So now we got 152 uh, results. I might want to look at this a little bit. Um, and uh, see kind of just an overview and see if something interests me. Um, I might want to uh, change the date here a little bit. Let's, let's widen that date out to uh, five years. And let's go back to our free full text. Um, and uh, let's see if we can find a systematic. And now let's let's look at a clinical trial. Okay, Ooh, we got one. There's only one clinical trial, and it, and it doesn't work for us. Um, it's not relevant. So comparing alternating alternating pressure mattresses. So. So we're going to have to go back and search again, change our filters. Um, clinical trial, health enrichment center, so we'll, we'll hit the back button and we'll hit the back button. Um, 
And if you get stuck, like it looks like, I'm, oh, there we go. So let's widen our filters out here a little bit. Um, let's look just for abstracts in five years. And now we're back to um, almost 50 results. And some of these will show if there's a free article, if the whole text is available and free. So, okay. So now we're going to scan through. Uh, this is interesting. So this is non-drug therapy and prevention of diabetes. So I'm not sure what that is. So let it's a it's a free article too. So let let's click on that. Let's just take a look at that. Okay, so it, it tells me over here that it is full text and I can take a look at who my authors are and then I can look at the abstract and see generally what this is about. So it's a World Health Organization. Um, so this is, this is kind of good. According to WHO, uh, the number of diabetic patients would reach about, oh wow, look at that, millions by 2035. So, so how, how are people going to be taken care of with that? And uh, so there's all kinds of treatment. Um, and the, some of the medical treatment, the medications, what, what, which are valid, and we would never tell somebody not to take a medication. Um, it is, uh, if they can control without using medication, that's really good. So, uh, so, so it looks like DALK DALK is, um, a form of manual therapy massage in Iran, kind of its cultural massage, but massage is massage is massage. It's all mechanical force uh, application and then how the body responds. And this says that there were positive results. Um, so that's pretty good. So let's, let's explore further. So they looked at, um, some traditional medicine textbooks, our researchers here, and uh, some of the um, more historical context. And they also did a search on massage and diabetes in PubMed Google Scholar. Um, and then they were compared, they did a comparison and contrast. So that's kind of interesting. So the results was, if we look at this, it says in Iranian traditional medicine, dalk means kneading or massage of the body, depending on the quality and quantity of the performances, it was divided into different kinds. Mechanisms of dalk is to increase the blood supply to an organ and subsequently increasing organs warmness and metabolism that would have a physiological effect. Um, so, you know, it, it's been part of the culture there, um, but they also looked for how that was justified in uh, current research. Um, this is this is kind of a fun article. According to Iranian traditional medicine and the latest articles that massage, their traditional form, as a non-drug therapy uh, can be uh, recommended, especially as part of the prevention or you know condition management. Um, then it gives you all kinds of similar articles here. And uh, we might want to explore those further. And it, it tells here where it might have been 
um, cited in another paper. And so I like to look at those and see where that also went. Um, and so I'm gonna go over here and click on the full article. And okay, so here we are. We've got our uh, background. We've looked at our methods and there's our abstract. So where's our full article? PDF, there we go. Um, and so we can read through the full thing here. Oh, uh, that's a poster. So this, this is a good example of what happens when you get started on this. You just gotta fiddle around a little bit. Um, this was done in 2016. Abstract, Facebook formats. Um, for some reason I'm not getting out to the whole article. So uh, that can become frustrating as we're looking at through this. Um, so I'm going to try to click something else and see what happens. Um, and I tried the PDF, Let's see what happened now. Here's our citation. So this, we were actually trying to cite this paper, which we wouldn't do unless we could get to the full text to read it. Um, it gives you what those citations are. And, and for somebody that has kind of a visual issue along with um, the uh, little bit of the dyslexia, being able to copy and paste this is um, helpful when I'm looking for citations. So I can't find how to get to the full paper on this. So I'm gonna go look and see if I can find a similar article with these over here. And these are all kind of about Iranian medicine and that's, that's not as interesting to me. So I am going to um, close out of this and uh, go back and pick another article. See, see how you do this? Uh, so here's interesting, the effects of foot plantar massage uh, on um, balance, because uh, neuropathy is common. So let's pick this one and take a look at it. And this one also says it has full text so um, we can get an idea of where this one at. This is in, from a uh, kind of in physiotherapy. It's a clinical trial. That's the kind of research it is. So it's got an experimental design. And um, this was their reason why they did this study. They wanted to see if it would help. Massaging the bottom of the foot would help with, with balance. And this is how they did that. Um, so they had 38 people. That's not bad for a clinical trial. Um, and they had a healthy control group. So that's good. You want to have a control group. That's the one that is, um, we're going to compare our experimental group against. And they were kind of from all over the place. And they did uh, some um, functional testing. Uh, with their people prior to the intervention and then after. So they did some one leg standing with eyes uh, open and closed. And then they had a visual analog scale. Um, and then what they found was when they did all their statistics, uh, and a lot of researchers will actually use a statistician when they uh, get to this part of it. Um, the, then they came to the conclusion here, um, and it was the results of our study indicated that application of plantar massage to people with um, diabetes, caused an improvement in balance and functional mobility and functional reach 
values. Well, that's kind of cool. Um, that that's kind of nice to know, and uh, I, that makes me really want to look at this full article here. Um, and let's see if we can get the full article now. And uh, here's our abstract again that we just looked at. Oh, this one's behind a paywall. So that means that we would have to pay to get to this full study. So I'm going to try something. Maybe I can get to it in Google. Uh, so I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go up here and search for Google Scholar. Oh, there it came. Yeah, open that up. And I'm going to put that right in here. And search. And there it is. You can see this is a little bit different format. Um, and uh, I'll click on it. And we can see if I can get it here. And um, they are not letting me have it without buying it. Um, and since I really like this, I might go ahead and do that. Um, but before I would do something like that, I am going to back up and I am going to see what else I can find um, by other articles that have used this as uh, information for what they did. So I'm going to hit that. Um, so here's one. How can the stimulation of plantar cutaneous receptors i.e., you know, we're going to do that by doing massage, improve postural control. Now, that's a review and a commentary. It's not actually a study. This is acupuncture. Um, and now this might be interesting. The effects, effects of self-induced multi-bar massage rolling on physical performance and collegiate athletes. So let's go ahead and take a look at that one. Click it up. So um, we can go through the abstract here. And this one, this abstract is not divided up the same way the other one we looked at. So you've got to kind of wade through this. Lots of times what I'll do is go down to the conclusions. Um, so 5, 10, and 15 minutes of self-induced multiple bar massage rolling may have some positive effects on balance performance, but does not appear to affect anaerobic power um, or uh, and aerobic capacity in any way, but it does affect balance. So um, let's, I don't think I can get to the full text here. Let's try. Um, show full item record, open in view. Let me get my little self out of the way over here. Um, it's not giving me um, a real good look at that, but I've got two of these. So my brain's starting to work on this a little. Oh, this was somebody's master's thesis too. So that's kind of fun. Um, I'm going to go back. And I'm going to look at this other one here. How can the stimulation, let's see if that one shows up. So Elsevier is actually the publisher of the textbook. And let's go down through here and look and see. Uh, this is 
uh, part of a journal. It was done 2019. It's a comprehensive review. Um, we've got a search summary over here. Uh, and uh, recommended articles, get access, it says. So let's see what happens. And it looks like this is behind a paywall as well. So this is where it can get kind of frustrating, but let's see what it says. Uh, let me get that out of there. Um, so we'll, we'll read the summary. Um, so let's scan it. And it talks about the sensory system. From a clinical point of view, the application of additional tactile clues, like massage, might have therapeutic benefits in relationship to fall prevention. So we're starting to layer in some biological plausibility. Um, I want to go back to um, PubMed here and look at the references. So I might be able to find some articles here I could take a look at. Uh, so let's see, this is what they used. Uh, Find one that might be interesting. This might be interesting. Um, it was done a while ago, uh, and I can hit Google Scholar and it'll take me right to it. Ta da! There it is. So let's click on that. And. Um, Let's see if we can get to the whole article. Yay! We could read down through all that. Uh, and, and while it was written a while ago, um, you can see how we can start to build information. So this, we'll go back to the abstract to see what they finally, what their conclusions were on this. Oh, and this was written in a different language, so here we go. Elderly diabetic outpatients showed abnormal balance and mobility, mainly related to advanced age. But it didn't necessarily say what we could do about it. Discussion. Uh, several studies, and I'm just scanning this, obviously. I don't want to look at this in general. Um, so uh, the other thing I can do is do that again. I can go right to these links that are available and start to get the history as it goes into the past and how we come. And this one is cited by 60 and I can filter here on Google Scholar up here since, let's see if there's anything brand new since 2020. Um, and I've got three here, it looks like. Uh, so um, I'm kind of hitting a dead end here on this. And unless I want to go to the library and have them get access to that full article, um, I might be, have to use a different search process. So I'm going to go all the way back into, uh, there's my uh, Medline Plus. I wonder if they've got anything. So let's put diabetes. And let's put massage therapy. Let's 
So these are some articles. Uh, that might fit our search. Here, now this might be something interesting. Complementary health approaches to chronic pain. What the science says, this was done in 2016. Um, so it's kind of, we're kind of off task here, but this is on fibromyalgia. And it mentions that there's support for massage therapy here. And here's the evidence, and here's the value, efficacy. Mind-body approaches, acupuncture, uh, and here's the safety. So it appears pretty safe. Um, under the headache, we don't see the word specifically massage, irritable bowel, which is an autoimmune, low back. Uh, this one should uh, show up with some massage because we've had some pretty, here we go, we've had some pretty good um, massage uh, research related to low back. And here's the evidence. Um, acupuncture, massage, and yoga. And uh, so you can see how we can start to do that. And here are the actual references. So let's, from, let's look at fibromyalgia. And uh, let's see if we can find something related to massage here. Now, this is interesting. And it was 2009, comparison of manual lymph drain age therapy and connective tissue massage. Um, so, looking again. So that's, that's really the only one that specifically, well, here's one, effectiveness of massage therapy for chronic non-malignant pain, but that was also done way back in 2007. Um, I'm going to click on it so that you can see. And it's also a free full text. Let's see if it'll come up. And... Here, now we're getting the whole article. So that's kind of cool. Let's see if there's anything in uh, similar, uh, cited in other articles. Let's see if there's something here more current. Um, something from 2015. Massage perceptions and attitudes of undergraduate pre-professional health science. Um, we've got massage for pain and evidence map. That's actually really good. Here's one that's been done in 2019. Ooh, you gotta look at that. And uh, so this is gonna give us um, this is kind of cool to have a figure here and shows us what kind of evidence we have um, and what the studies are. And so um, you can see that as you journey around in all of this, um, that you can start to gather data and, and you got to be willing to experiment with it and, and that's how you're going to uh, learn and I can easily get lost uh, as I go down through here. So uh, this is how they would have done uh, like a meta-analysis and they, to do this evidence map, they had to gather all kinds of information. So this is nice. This is really nice. And um, they, they did a pre-sort for me, which is kind of nice.
and I can go down through here and I would spend time with this. So, um, and I would also, when I get down to the references, um, I would use that to further guide how I might look. Um, so this is just a quick overview on how you would use these sites and how you might mess around with them a little bit and um, narrow your topic uh, and then some of the frustration that might come into that um, when you can't quite get to what you want and uh, you know other directions that you can go with it. So let me stop sharing my screen. Ta-da! So this is just a little kind of add-on and uh, gives you an idea of how you can uh, start to become a, 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 your own little researcher by using the research of others and then thinking through it. Get used to PubMed and um, Medline Plus as you, and, and then you can see how you can go back and forth with that.